Well, we're starting things off with the bad girl, Riri. You know her, Rihanna. She had quite a week. Starting off with the release of a new music video that's actually broken the internet. Millions upon millions of views in the last 24 hours for the song known as BBHMM. Hmm. The B, the first one, is a bad word, mm -hmm. but the rest of it is better have my money. <laughs> you get the point. And in the few shots that we are able to show you on network television, you see Rihanna acting out the revenge fantasy. Yes, she does. She kidnaps the wife of some nefarious debtor, and, well, Riri, in fact, does get her money. That's, that's nice to know. Well, she's doing that in real life, too, by the way. The other headline is that she's the queen of the single. She's the first artist ever to have 100 million songs downloaded wow. and streamed. So, so she's effective at getting her money back. Maybe I should have her go to Whole Foods for me. Oh, that's a good option. <laughs> oh. Hey, Rihanna, can you, can you call Whole Foods? I got some overpriced salmon the other day. She'll break the scale and she'll get it Yeah. Fly. You're right. <laughs> oh, Thanks, <an> Rihanna. <laughs> well, uh, an update now to a story we told you about earlier in the week. Paris Hilton. Oh, this is a good one, Ryan. She might have been a better actress than any of us really thought. It turns out that she was on a plane. It was a prank, and it all went way too far. Here's a refresher for you guys. <laughs> she looks ridiculous. <laughs> I love the guy who's faking it with her. Well, TMZ says they have taped documents prepared by the production company of this Egyptian prank show, and said that said, those documents said, quote, we will monitor the funny reactions from our celebrity guests when they fear jumping off the plane. And according to the same sources, they paid Paris in the million dollar range to take part. She was also ah. their first choice. The company sent the offer to reps for other American celebrities, but Paris was the first to think that it would be a good idea. That's hilarious. I hope she got that money. If not, I'm going to call Rihanna for it. <laughs> well, it's been nearly 15 years since Wet Hot American Summer hit theaters. The movie's about misfits at summer camp. Do you remember this? It's becoming a cult classic with many of the movie's actors becoming huge stars now. There's been a lot of buzz over the prequel series coming to Netflix, and we now have a first look with the star-studded trailer currently burning up the web. Check it out. Welcome all to the Campfire with Summer Theater Program. Point the toast, gyrating, leave with the crotch. <laughs> Show is like this every day. We have a problem. Why do you come to me for help? I'm just a camp chef. I know you were in the military. I'm quite sure. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do know. Oh, uh, yeah, the original cast is back, including Amy Poehler, Bradley Cooper, Paul Rudd, Elizabeth Banks. They've added Jason Schwartzman, Christine Wiig, John Hamm, many others. Oh, can't wait to see it. It'll be available for binge watching at the end of the month on Netflix. And finally, we hadn't seen Matt Damon in a while, probably mm -hmm. because he's been waiting until his new look is ready to check. Boom, there it is, uh, ponytail. No, come on, man. Check out that dude. Woo! He stepped out on stage during a press conference for the movie The Great Wall with that thing.